I'm watching this uh, documentary called The Need to Grow. It's so brilliant for climate change and everything else. Greta Thurberg, if you're watching this, people of the world, if you're watching this, do watch it <laughs> because it's a game changer. Now listen to this for the next 10 minutes. This is uh, the dragon. So this ought to be fun. Here we are, look at this, look at that power plant. Wow, middle of Montana, who would, who would guess? The biodome, wow. Biodome. All right, I already want one. Me too. I believe it's a game changer. What the algae and the biochar together do is literally rejuvenate, revitalize and remake soil and i cannot emphasize enough how important that is so michael smith this is eric cotter eric cotter hey, nice pleased to meet you pleased to meet you as well i'm a biochemist and oncologist by training i grow food and i'm a chef and so i started playing around with this stuff and i called ken i said ken where'd you get this stuff <laughs> really oh my gosh michael is an extraordinary visionary he was the visionary behind the company even though it was had several founders we discovered that the waste usually occurs when you short circuit natural processes. You take carbon where it does the most good and you put it where it does the most damage. You know, the rate that we're pushing the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere just overwhelms uh, the planet's ability to capture it. So we're trying to emulate something that nature is doing, and nature is inherently complex. You realize that there's a billion microbes in this piece of soil the size of your little finger. Oh, yeah. And we think we know it all. I mean, we can go to the moon, but we have no idea what's going on with those billion microbes. And, and what we're doing now, of course, are killing those microbes right. in the soil. And we don't even know what we're killing and what ratios we're offsetting. It's one of the battles that we're fighting against standard um, fertilizing concepts. Right. You know, if I were to start a fertilizer company and I wanted just to maximize my profits and didn't care about anything else, what a great strategy, right? You put it on one year, you get a good growth. The next year, the growth's not so good, so you have to add a little more. And then you add a little more, and pretty soon you've completely destroyed your soil. So we discovered, well, how can we integrate these components together to bring those cycles back into balance again? Well, the answer has been with us forever, right? And all we had to do is open our eyes and look around. Why don't we go in and see what you, what you guys have created? Uh, we'll go talk to the dragon. What Michael calls the dragon is a state-of-the-art pyrolysis machine. When biomass like wood waste enters the dragon, it's heated close to 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The absence of oxygen prevents combustion, leaving behind a stable carbon structure similar to charcoal. The extracted energy runs the entire green powerhouse off-grid while creating enough excess electricity to meet the needs of roughly 100 homes. It would take over three acres of solar panels to accomplish this. So the electricity is not our main product. We call that our waste byproduct. Utility <laughs> companies are going to love that one. Our waste byproduct is electricity. This is 9,000-year-old technology is to make this biochar. Our ancestors knew how to do this to fertilize the soil, and we're just, we've just reformatted it for the 21st century. It's pores within pores within pores. Biochar is a form of extremely stable carbon with exponential pores creating massive surface area in a tiny space. Just a two inch piece of biochar, if unfolded, would have the surface area the size of a football field. Wow. This structure is an optimal breeding ground for beneficial soil microbes, holding both water and nutrients where plant roots need them most. It also creates space for air to get in, and the for soil microbes. microbes to get in. So all that stuff that Amazing. is an essential component to the web uh, gets recreated. You're putting back into the soil the infrastructure for soil regeneration. Without the dragon, this waste would end up in a landfill, releasing greenhouse gases as it decomposed. Instead, biochar locks the stable carbon back underground for hundreds or even thousands of years. Biochar is emerging as one of the planet's best solutions to climate change. One green powerhouse, or GPH, stabilizes over one ton of carbon every day. It takes roughly 50,000 trees to do the same. 
you're fixing carbon. I'm fixing carbon, pulling it out of the atmosphere and putting it back in the These three people are angels of the earth. engineering experience. <laughs> we include the algae into that. So I mentioned uh, the liquid prairie. The heat necessary to operate this comes from the breakdown of the wood waste. That, that's amazing. I love that. I'm learning a lot here. A lot. This is actually seriously exciting, how you're taking all these natural systems and, and linking them. Woo, look at this place. Don't fall in. Algae is one of the primary organic material generators on the surface of the planet. It operates very fast. So the fact that we can take carbon dioxide, we can take water, and we can take sunlight, and we can create biomass from it is a big boon to this concept of generating soil because that's the way it's been done for millions of years. All we've figured out how to do is take that and accelerate it. Continuously fed CO2 from the dragon, rapidly growing algae is harvested every day. Through biodigestion, algae is converted to a nutrient-rich organic fertilizer to be combined with biochar creating a powerful soil rejuvenator. Methane, a byproduct of algae digestion, is sent back to the dragon to heat and process more waste, completing the cycle. In each element of the green powerhouse, the output of one becomes the input of another, a true closed loop system. Yeah, and, and the algae tells us what it needs, right? So we have this sort of self-regulating system that algae's been sucking up nitrogen as well as carbon dioxide so it's and other nutrient rich, big time. Yeah, I mean, and it's high in energy. Well, a few people know this, but algae is more, higher in energy than coal per pound. Wow. Really? So when we pull that energy out of there, we digest this, we're left with a really compact nutrient substrate that we can then use as part of our soil amendment. So in about four or five days, we can do what normally a normal digester will do in about a month. So you've actually put an efficiency on an already known efficiency. So so you're going to get humic substances out of this as a byproduct. What would it take in nature for that to occur with? Well, if you include the carbon from the, from the carbon engine, you know, that's hundreds of years. Okay, so you're doing in four to five days what nature would take in about 400 years. 400 years. What? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So, Four days for nature's 400. And we're sitting on an invention that can save the planet. These guys are angels. You know, we don't want to push it too hard, but the idea is we create the environment and you monitor the environment and you accelerate the process. Don't want to push it too hard, but four to five days versus 400. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You bet. I'm up here because I have a similar conundrum that you guys have. I see this power plant as an amazing opportunity to scale and to actually change the way we live and go back to mm -hmm. natural processes that are zero waste. That's why I worry about this. I think you got a game changer here. You're going to have a lot of pushback. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're all of a sudden taking on everybody, the entire energy world is now looking at you saying, okay, do we let this technology exist or not? Yeah. And I think what you guys are doing probably could be one of the greatest empowering tools that we've seen because you of all the different things that you're able to create with this. That's why I worry about it getting, you know, squashed before it gets out. <sighs> After World War II, there was an ex you guys got to watch this video and hopefully maybe create people who can get together and get one of those biodomes, the dragon, for every little town or farming village. Wow.